that would be a treat to really see you play the saxophone. Uh, I, I, you know? I, I still keep up with it. Yeah. So I want to eventually one day do like something on the side, like maybe like a hip hop jazz. Hey, I've heard what? hip hop with violin players, violinists playing, and it, it's amazing when they put that together. So I'm pretty sure the saxophone would be the trick too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about what you think of Pose and how you came to get to know Pose and be involved with Pose. Um, so actually, I was on the Bird Nation and that's how Pose found me. Um, from there, of course, I was like, you know, a little skeptical, you know, coming out, you know, as an indie artist, like, oh, what is this company, you know, so I was very cautious, but, you know, as I started to read more and research more about the company and then just start out, um, you know, getting to know um, various people, I, I realized that it was, you know, a legit company and that they really care about the indie artists. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from there I was like, just, you know, just fell in love with the whole organization and just the whole process. And I'm here now, so, you know, it's, it's definitely, we work well together. Yeah, Pose is very genuine. I've been with them for years. And I was also one that was found on the organization and got connected to them um, in that way. Is that how you got connected to them too, Robert? Yes, it is. It's the way I got connected through Reverb Nation also. And I love the way you said that you were, if I may say, skeptical. As far as you know, yeah, right, is this thing real? But that was the same way I was back in the day. But then, what I still remember is when they told me that I should come out, you might win an award. And I was like, me, an award? I mean, I'm too old for this. And they said, you're never too old. So I made the trip, I took a leap, and I've been with them ever since. You know, and I like that. But let me ask you this. Since you're in a rap game, if I may use that terminology, what makes you think that you got what it takes? And the reason why I'm asking you that is because you're being filmed and also you're being recorded. What advice can you give to those that are trying to do what you're doing? Um, pretty much, you know, I'm true to myself. So when I do my music, I'm just you know, I'm unique in being myself. I don't try to mimic anyone else. I don't try to be a clone as I like to call, you know, from uh, artists that some major some major labels might try to uh, uh, influence and try to like mimic. So my main thing is you want to stay true to yourself. Don't be like anyone else. You're the most happiest as an artist when you stay true. Yeah. <laughs> as far as being genuine, I like that. I like that. I like that. So what are you praying on going from here? Um, you know, I'm just enjoying the ride. Ah, uh, I like I'm that. Gonna, I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying the ride. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I didn't expect up to be doing music right now. I quit music like a long time ago, like okay. back in 2003. Uh -huh. So um, what got me back into my music was my, like my health. And so when I was going through health issues, yeah. I just started writing. And so, you know, I started writing. I was like, you know, let me start recording. And from there, um, I didn't know how you know my music would be received, so yes. you know people seem to like it. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. That's, the that's, people speak. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. And that's never what give it takes. up on your dreams. Yes, never yes. give up on your dreams. Um, uh, sometimes I, I can recall many times I put my music to the back seat because you know other things. You know, take care of kids, take care of my health. Um, you know the priorities. But I always kept at it a little bit in certain ways. So if you keep at it, trust me, over time, as years go by, it moves up. I mean, I never expected, like right now, I'm 53 years old. I never expected at this point in my life, I'm doing exactly what I always wanted to do in the first place, which is my music, full time. And I also do TV and other things, too. But, you know, I did 15 years of nursing. I had my own day care. I'm a grandmother. I've got two kids. But I always kept that music, and you know, the internet I always say is a very powerful tool. And because of the internet bringing things like polls, you have an opportunity now to grow and do more and more and more. So if that opportunity comes your way and people are receiving you, go for it. I say go for it and maintain that confidence and keep that confidence. Yeah, I'm so people I definitely made mistakes by giving up the first time. So Well, I mean you live and you learn, you know. 
I've had opportunities years ago that I wish I would have taken. I was offered to be on, um, what was that, Talent Search a long time ago, Star, Star Search, all those things, and I never got to do them because I, I was a single parent and all that. But, um, you know, I just always got bad at it, and then who would expect now, years later, all these things have been happening. So stick with it, and I look forward to seeing you perform tomorrow. And Hearing more from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if I may say one thing, is that it's not that you're stopping and then coming back. It wasn't time at that time, but this is the time, the right now time. And you have a faith, you have a foundation, you're moving forward, you have people that's supporting you, and just go for it. Because the thing about it is, you step back out because you start believing in yourself. So, I'm going to start right there because I'm going to start preaching and asking people to pass around the offering plate. This is your host of the Ace Post in 2018 Music Award along with my bodacious hostess, TC Extant Vocalist. That's right. And we are looking forward to you all tuning in, listening, and be a part of this 2018 Music Award. Thank you for having me.